What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In this video, I'm going to test the WinLater emulator on a very low-end 4GB RAM Android device with a Mali GPU. So right now, this is my 7-year-old Galaxy device, powered by a very old Exynos chipset. You can also take a look at this architecture, which is pretty old with Cortex-A73 and A53 cores. Also, some people are asking me, like, does it support on 32-bit phones? Well, no, it may not work. You need ARM 64-bit based devices. Here, I also extended the dynamic memory as virtual memory to hold up the system. I know this device will work slow. So anyways, let's open Win later. And this is the 10.1 hotfix version. Let's go to settings. These are the recommended settings. Set box 64 preset to stability or intermediate if you are using a low RAM device. Here I have already created the container, so follow all these settings. The Vortec driver is set. And set max device memory to 512 to 1024. In DXVK configuration, set it to version 1.7.2. Follow these same settings. That's it. Now go to advanced. Set the preset to intermediate or stability. Startup selection to aggressive. Select Windows 7 version and enable all CPU cores in Affinity. All right, and there we go. Now let's first check out the Direct 3D. Okay, it's running fine, which means this device's GPU gets configured well with both Vulkan and GL. You can also take a look at the memory heap size we assigned as shared memory and device extensions right here. And of course, these GPU drivers are pretty much outdated as of today. Like the version 22.2 is too old. So anyways, it's time for the test. Also, please don't expect very big titles to run on this. Here, I have already copied the game files to this phone's storage, so let's open it. All right, it started. Everything is set to low preset at 600p. And look at it. The GPU usage is already maxed out here. Also, this phone is even weaker than the Helio G99. That one has the Mali G57, which is twice as powerful as this G71. Well, we can't expect more, but still, you can run some DX9 titles smoothly on this one. So anyways, let's skip this part. All right, all right. And there we go. It's very laggy, even though this is an overclocked GPU. Also, the CPU cores are very old, which makes the overall x86 translation slow. Also, do let me know if you want me to test on other devices like with a Unisoc chipset. So yeah, that's it for this quick test on a low-end Mali GPU phone running WinLater. Honestly, it's not that great, but still interesting to see it kind of working. If you found this helpful, make sure to drop a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.